Hello, welcome back to my channel, Lomzi Sews. Today's sewing project is how to make short booboo -boo gown with shawl collar and welt pocket. It's very, very stylish and trendy. If that's what you want to learn, then continue watching till the end to see how I made this. It's going to be a detailed sewing project, so continue watching till the end to see how I made it. Don't miss any part of this video. Guys, okay, so if this is your first time coming across my channel, consider subscribing and turn on your notification bell icon. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. I thank you guys for always coming back to watch and support and drop your comments. Please, guys, drop your comments and let me know what your thoughts are on this sewing project so let's make this short booboo dress fabric i have five yards here it comes by five yards so i'm going to cut out two and a half inches from this for the short dress then i have this crepe fabric that i'm going to use for the details i have a lot here so i'm just going to cut out half inch from this fabric So I have it folded into two like this, as you can see, it's folded into two. I'm going to fold it again like this to be into four. As you can see, it's folded into four now, and this edge is unfold. The fabric comes by 46 inches, so folded into two, what I have here is 23 inches, and I'm going to use all the 23 inches as my sleeve length. So this side is the center front and the center back, as you can see, they are unfold, and this side will be the side seam. So the next thing I will do is to take down the length measurement. So the first thing I will take is the length of the sleeve. For the length of the sleeve, I'm going to come down 12 inches and I'll add half inch sewing allowance to that, which is 12 and a half, and I'll mark it here. I'll make this straight line, 12 and a half inches. Then the next length I want is the hips measurement. I'm going to come down to 26 inches, and this will be for the hip measurement. And then the final length I'm using is the length of the dress. The length of the dress is 38. I'm going to add 2 inches to that because I'm, this is for my ready to wear. If I fold 2 inches inside, if the client wants, to, wants it to be longer, they can reduce, they can open up the 2 inches and it will be 40 inches. So I'm going to be using 40 inches. Next I'm going to do is, I'm going to come to this sleeve length, the line of the sleeve, and I'm going to get the bust measurement divided by 4. So the bust measurement I want to use is 44. 44 divided by 4 will be 11 inches. And I'm going to add 1 inch is allowance to that because this is booboo gown, right? So I'm going to add 1 inch, which will make it 12 inches. And then I'm going to add half inch sewing allowance. Don't make your allowance more than half inch. In fact, if you make it half inch, after sewing the half inch, by the time you want to weave it, you cut out and make it uh, 0 0.25 that way the curve will sit properly so i'm going to make that 12 inches so i have 12.5 here now coming down to the hip measurements i'm going to get the hip measurement divided by four uh, the hip measurements i'm using is 46 inches divided by four will give me um, 11 and a half I'll mark it, if I add half inch sewing allowance to that, which will give me 12 inches, right? But because this hip is exaggerated hip, I'm going to be adding 6 inches to that, which will make it 18 inches. So I'm going to come here, 18 inches, and mark it here. So this 18 inches, I'll drop it down to the hemline. And I'll connect it like this, 18 inches. Now I'm going to come to this line, and I'm going to make a curve to come and meet this one here and i will come out this way so i'm going to make this is already for the sleeve so i'm just going to make something like this and come out that way i don't know if my chalk is showing i, I, I just believe this chalk is showing so can you guys see what i just did i hope you can see what i did so i'm going to come out this way maybe i should cut this out so that you see the silhouettes this dress like i told you is for my ready to wear so it will be available on my instagram handle at lumsy one if you want me to make a bulk order for you you can reach me at lumsy one on instagram and i will do that for you i want to use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers i appreciate a whole lot next for the neckline i'm going to come in three inches for the neck width three inches and for the neck depth for the back, I'm going to come down one inch. 
and mark it. Then for the neck depth for the front, I'm going to come down to 12 inches. From the center front to this place, I'm going to come out one inch. I'm just going to note that so that I'll show you guys something. Let me bring this close for you guys to see. So from here, I'm going to make... So from here, from this one inch, I'm going to come straight like this for like two inches and then I start making a very nice curve like this. It's not really, if you see, if you notice, I came up like this and I came that way. I didn't just make it a straight V. I just came up that way and maybe when I cut this out, you'll see what I mean. So first of all, I'm going to cut out this. But before I cut this out, I want to mark for the where I'm going to be adding the... So before I cut this, I'm going to mark the place where I'm going to add the welt pocket. I want it to come down to 20 inches and I will mark it, mark the 20 inches here. Then from the center front like this, I'm going to come in 3 inches. So I mark 3 inches here. Because it's a slanted, it's slanted this way, from this place where I've marked 3 inches, I'm going to be coming slanted like this and I will make it 6 inches. Because this is a ready to wear, I don't want it to be too small so that it would enter any sleeve. So this is where the welt pocket would be. So I'm going to, you know, place pins there so that I'll be able to trace this out when I turn it over on the other side. So I'll go ahead and cut out the neckline for the back, first of all. And then I'll go ahead and cut out the front neckline. So from here, I'm going to cut out the front neckline. Always make sure that is one inch. I want to make sure that is one inch because if it's not up to one inch, I don't want my flap to over, overlap. I just want it to be exactly. So see my one inch here. So I'll go ahead and transfer the place where my the welt pocket would be, which is from here to here. So the first thing we have to do is to make the welt pocket. I'll go ahead and make welt pocket here. As you can see, I have added the welt pocket on this side. Can you guys see? Yeah, so we need to add welt pocket to this side. So what I have here is the lilac fabric I want to use for this. What I have here is six inches all in all like this. And I folded two inches inwards. So this is the place where we're going to be adding the welt pocket. I'll place this fabric like this, matching up where we're adding the welt pocket. So you place it like this. The side that is longer is the side that is going to face the lower part. So this side that is smaller is the side that is going to face this part. Note that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to transfer this mark inside. So I'll flip this over like this. And make sure I mark where that place is. I'm going to also hold it with pin so that it doesn't shift from that place. I'll do the same thing on the other side. So make sure you place, you see I made a crease. 
So the crease is what you're going to use. So you place it there, mark it, and that's what you're going to use. So I'm going to pin this again on that place. Now with this crease that I have made here, I will use here as a guide and mark half inch all around. So you make sure you mark half inch all around, all around, so that you know where you are going to stop. So I'll go ahead and sew all around like that, and we come back to you. So just go ahead and sew here like this. So for you to know, I added interfacing to the back where I'm adding the weld pocket. So note that. So let me sew here and show you the next step. So this is it after sewing it. Can you see how neat it is? So the next thing I would do, guys, remember this side is the front side. So what I have here is right side facing right side. So you note that. So I'm going to cut this open like this. You just pick it like this and you're going to cut it open a little bit and then you open it this way and cut and you're going to make a Y shape here trying to touch where you have sewn so that you don't have a smile line. You don't want your pocket welt pocket to have a smile line so i'm going to notch exactly to that place the same thing on this side you have a y something that looks like y so you do the same thing on the other side Should have something that looks like this so i'll go ahead and flip it over this way turn it over to the back and you're going to properly arrange this so you see how neat that place is can you see how neat it is there's no smile line can you see so we are going to iron out this You should have something that looks like this. Next, you're going to, from this lower part, the side that is longer, you're going to pick something like this and come and cover this. As you can see, you cover it like that, making sure you don't have any smile line or any gap. And you're going to iron it again. So... So you're going to lift this up like this and you're going to pick that wire that we have cut out before and you're going to pick all of them together. You will go to your machine and place it like this and you're going to sew here. I hope you're seeing where I'm showing you. You sew all of them bunched together there. Make sure you don't sew on the fabric. Just target where you have your line there and sew it there. So this is it after joining it. Can you guys see? If I turn it over like this, this is how it's looking very neat so next thing i would do is to make it a pocket now it's just a welt pocket you can leave it like this if you want it to be a design but because we want a pocket we are going to be closing up this so this fabric like this right side facing together i'm going to turn this fabric like this and sew it here turn it over this way can you see what i'm seeing doing and sew it like that that way, when your client puts their hand inside, it will not be scratching them. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right side facing together. Join this like this. Flip it over this way. And then I'm going to sew this together here. And then I go ahead and close the side seam. The side seam, you're going to hold it together like this. And you're going to sew it close. As you can see, I've sewn the welt pocket. Can you guys see? 
Yeah, so now that the wealth pocket is ready, we are going to go over to the plaquette. So remember for the plaquette, we made um, one inch spacing in front, meaning by the time we opened it, we had two inches for the plaquette, remember? So we are going to cut out fabric. I went ahead and cut out this fabric. What I have here is seven inches and I folded it. And I folded one end. So I folded one end with half inch. If I close it, all in all is seven inches. But like this is three and a half inches. So I'm going to go to my machine now. And I'm going to, the side that is not folded, I'm going to place it like this. And sew all around. Just only holding the side that I didn't fold. So I'm going to fold it all, sew it all around and get to this place. When you are sewing it, make sure you get down half inch below where you have marked for the placket. So I'm going to sew it all around, half inch all around. And I'm going to extend this particular one. I will extend it longer than the other one. The other one will stop somewhere like this. So let me go and sew that and show you the next step. So this is it after sewing it. So I'll go ahead and notch this place to touch where I have sewn. So you don't have any dimple. You have to get into that place. I'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure you mark, you notch very close to it. So the next thing I would do, as you can see, I'll go ahead and flip this over like this and use this side and cover up this place like this. You're going to sew it like this so that you have a very clean finished edge. So after sewing it, it's going to turn to be like this. Can you guys see? This is how it's going to be. Then the same thing on the other side, you use the same thing and close it like that. So by the time you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Can you see the shawl neck line is already in place. So what you would do at the lower part, you are going to make the design of the V neck you or the V shape you want. Any shape you want, you can make it here. So can you see what I'm doing? You make any shape you want below that. So make sure you sew it like this. Can you see? You sew it by the side like this, like that. So can you see it came out the way that dress looks like. So the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and attach um, the, the plain material on the sleeve and you're going to close the side seam. Guys, this video is too long, so I hope you understand with me. So you just go ahead and add the uh, plaquettes for the sleeve and you're going to sew close the side seam. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.